Hi guys, getting ready to do a weekend reading. This is for water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right, universe, angels, spirits, and guides, what does the signs of Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces need to know at this time? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces need to know at this time. Thank you. All right. Nine of Wands still standing. Oh, now there's a fight breaking out. My goodness. Okay. Could be because of an earth sign, a message, something. And so you may be done. You may be like, I'm just done with this problem or this situation. Under the deck is a King of Wands. He is in reverse. Sometimes the, um, ooh, Seven of Swords is behind him with the Knight of Cups. Sometimes the King of Wands in reverse can be someone who is very self-centered. It's all about them. They love attention on them. Um, the Knight of Cups was also in reverse, so maybe there's no love. Maybe this person's all about themselves. This could be your partner. They always want to go out and do their thing with the boys or their, their friends or whatever, whoever they're going out with, and they ignore you, maybe leave you at home, maybe you guys are arguing about where to go. It always seems like it's always about them and not about you. Uh, maybe they're secretive. Who knows? Lots of things. And this could be that you're fighting, Five of Wands. You might have an argument. Maybe. We'll see. And you may feel like throwing in the towel. You may think, you know, I'm just done. I'm done with the situation. But let's see what happens. There is messages. A lot of wands this weekend. Oh. Oh. Okay. Might be getting a message from someone. Um, this, so it looks like someone from the past may be showing up. This could be your past or it could be their past. Because this must be what that is. I wasn't sure what this page of coin was, but there could be an earth sign coming back in, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So again, this could be from their side or your side. This may be what you're arguing about. Or you may be feeling like justice. You know what? Uh, my ex is trying to get back together with me. Not that you like that. Not that you care. But you know what I mean? Maybe trying to make someone jealous. I don't know. But there's definitely messages here from someone that you know. Doesn't have to be an ex just because it's the Six of Cups. But this seems to make you happy. Um, page of Swords, you may tell someone, you know, hey, look, I'm going out. I'm going to go do my thing. You do your thing, whatever. You might break, be ending a relationship or something over the weekend. I'm not sure yet. Let me put another row and see what's going on. Okay, now that knight is upright. He was under the deck. So, oh, someone came to the realization maybe of what they wanted. Oh, this might be you. Oh, wow. Seven of Wands, back off. Give me, you know... Walking my, okay, someone's having a, okay, Wheel of Fortune's in reverse. Something's not over, though, under the deck. Okay, so something's coming in. Maybe someone new. Maybe someone from, someone's coming in with the Knight of Cups energy, and someone realizes all of a sudden what they want, what they've been missing. So you might have, let's say, someone who, let's say you have an argument Thursday or Friday. And so you decide to take the weekend away from your partner. And you have this argument while you're at work and a co-worker who has had their eye on you overhears it. They say, oh, now's my chance. I'm going to take, take him or her out, you know, buy them a drink or coffee. It's, we're going to have a good time. They may treat you very well. And all of a sudden it's like, wait a minute. Now I realize all this time what I was looking for in those cups. I realize how to be treated. I realize that what I need is someone who, you know, isn't always arguing with me. Um, you know, because here you are. You, I mean, you start out the reading feeling very... Uh, I was going to say burnt, burnt out, broken, battered, but um, that's not really what I was going to say, but that's what came out. But that's how you're feeling. You're standing there with a bandage on your head. like So there's just something that's not working with whoever you're dealing with. And for some of you, you are going to have an opportunity to go out to lunch or dinner or for a drink or something with somebody else. Someone who I think really cares about you. And it may awaken you to realize, you know what, this is what I've been wanting. You know, maybe you're going to push this other person away. Maybe you're going to walk your own path this week and just do what's, what's good for you. And you may find new love. Full two of cups, just like that with the world here. Um, I don't know how many are actually, of you are actually going to break up with the world. And then find someone new quickly. But definitely I feel like you're going to realize something. This might just be a friend also. This might awaken you to this person coming in might be a friend and then now you're going to be on your way to meeting someone new. Or this person might be the love of your life. 
uh, being a general reading. And I know that seems like love was definitely coming in for water signs. This could definitely be the weekend you're meeting someone new or someone who's been wanting to ask you out is going to ask you out. And it seems to be making you very happy. Hmm. Sometimes the reading surprise me. I never know what I'm, go what I'm going to get. But this is actually a happy uh, turn. And it's very, to me, this is like very laid out very clearly. Sometimes readings, I'm not sure what they mean, who they resonate for. But this I can see clearly what's going on. I'm going to pick him up, the Seven of Wands, and put him back in. Just because he's off, he's kind of over there um, hanging out. So you're on your on a path to possibly new love this weekend for some of you. Uh, I'm going to pull from a different deck. All right. I really like this deck. This one, I feel some of my decks talk very well. Others don't. This deck talks more than I thought it would. I didn't realize that. So I'm going to pull from this deck. I'm going to ask again, universe, please give me messages for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces for the weekend. Thank you so much. All right. Okay, one more. Okay, we have the King of Cups in reverse, the Magician in reverse, the Death card. I do read reversals, but I usually try to keep things upright. There's a mixture, so we'll see. I actually think this went this way, but we will see. Because there's somebody here who may not be, okay, no. Yeah, there's someone here that wasn't putting forth effort. Now, the King of Cups could be you, but I think it's someone else that you are dealing with. So... Maybe it's another water sign you're dealing with, but someone, and in reverse, he can be cut off from love too. He can be also overly emotional, like to the point of where it's drama all the time, but magician in reverse is not putting in action. Death could be that you do end something, and three of cups to me feels like just the other reading, like going out with friends, going out on, and doing something new. So I feel like for some of you, and death did come out in reverse, I believe, I flipped it around, but some of you may not completely end a relationship this weekend okay just you may have a huge argument and you may think you are but you may not but I do feel like you will go out with someone else or you'll go out with friends something will lead you to realize that you've been missing either love or you've been missing romance you've been missing someone treating you well taking you out um, not nagging you all the time possibly all right Eight of Swords in reverse, the world. So letting go of something. So honestly, the clear message that's showing up for the weekend is releasing yourself from something. You have the world again. Eight of Swords in reverse, letting go of something, not being trapped anymore. Four of Swords and the devil. Okay. I like this devil in this deck. All right. I do feel like there may be some temptation around you possibly with this reading. Um, maybe a Capricorn, but something fun, someone new. Four swords, you may need to rest. You may need to take some time to yourself. Let's do another row. The sun's in reverse. The ace of wands. Okay. The six of swords. The six of cups. Yeah, for some of you, this is kind of the same reading, but on this side, it's telling it a little differently. So this may be someone who's only in it for sex, with the devil, ace of wands. The sun in reverse say, says there's no growth, but that's okay. Again, that's how I felt differently. Um, some of you, you could be meeting a soulmate this weekend and it could last for a long time. Others of you, I feel like you're going out with someone who there's definitely chemistry. Um, you may or may not sleep with them, whatever, but it just means that you know that it's more or less like the devil energy, ace of wands, a lot of chemistry, but it was it's fun. You know, someone who maybe treat you well, you guys have fun together, you laugh. There may not be long-term growth when the sun's in reverse with this person, but maybe that's okay. Maybe you're just having fun, you're realizing you've been missing, you know, missing out on doing things that you love to do, making yourself happy, spending time with friends, etc. Because I have the six of cups again, six of swords. In this deck, six of swords does look kind of sad, but so you may have a little bit of sadness about realizing that, you know, you've been putting your needs last, if any of you are actually ending a relationship and giving up on it, you may know that you're, you need to move on. Some of you may be 
may be sad about that, but this can also mean moving to a better place, having more fun, enjoying life more, letting go of what doesn't serve you. So again, this reading is, on this side is somewhat the same, but with different details. So So this might be an X on this side coming back in with the Six of Cups, the Devil. But um, let me do one more row. You have the Hierophant. You have the Knight of Cups. You have the Moon in reverse, a secret coming out. And you have the Ten of Coins. I wasn't sure that was Nine or the Ten. That is the Ten of Coins. See, on this side, I kind of feel like you might make your partner jealous. And I feel like that is why the death is in reverse. I feel like your partner was not putting in the effort or time and they were taking you for granted. You may go out with someone who really, you know, you catch their eye and this person is really interested in you and that's why I was saying it may just, you guys may not hook up or anything, but they really, this might make your partner jealous for some of you. And this is, I see them coming back in, Hierophant, Knight of Cups, the Moon in Reverse is a secret coming out in Ten of Coin. This person may want long-term commitment, the original King of Cups up here, who's not really putting in the effort and time anymore, or the Queen of Cups, however you're reading this. But I see them coming back saying, you know what, I do love you. I do see long-term commitment with you. I would like, you know, I'll maybe put in more effort. Well, you need to make them put in more effort, but I'm hoping they're going to say that to you. Um, so you may just need some time alone this weekend and just to have some fun. It's kind of what I'm seeing. Let me look back over here. Yeah, reminiscing Six of Cups. I get friends, someone from the past. Now, again, someone from the past might be the person who does tell you that they like you and they do see long term because the moon in reverse is that secret coming out. Might be Pisces, but Ten of Coin is long term. I'm looking here again. Yeah, someone may tell you that they do have strong feelings for you with this energy. And again, you may like this person, you may not. Depends because of the details of different people watching. Under the deck is the Fool, though. So for some of you, you are going to take this opportunity. So I do see changes this weekend. Some of you are definitely going to end something that you've been, you know, tired of putting up with. And possibly meeting new, someone new or just dating, but realizing that you've missed out on, you know, someone treating you well, treating you, you know, with love. So water signs, I'm going to leave it there. Have a really good weekend and take care.